Hi everyone, I've got a cute little jumbled up jumbie review here. Thank you jumbies for my wonderful review package. Um, these are called jumbies. I'm going to read you the um, the little book that they sent me. I still have stuff swatched on the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm going to read you the little book they sent me with the story of the Jumbies in it. But I, I absolutely love these things. This is a rabbit duck. His name is Philbert. He is a, blabbit, a bluebird rabbit. And then this is a this is Dingbat. His name is Bonker. He is a dingbat. He is a dingo and a bat. They have a whole line of these. I really like these critters. So I'm going to quickly run through the um, the little Jumbie storybook that they send that explains it. There were more babies being born than ever before. The stores had to deliver them from store to store, from shore to shore. They were baby elephants, bears, dogs, and cats. They had tigers, skunks, and even baby bears. Baby bats. Baby bats. You can also find raccoons, deers, mice, and whales. There were camels, sharks, and dinosaurs with long tails. There were koalas, kangaroos, and chimpanzees. The storks had all kinds of fish and even bumblebees. They had to deliver them in the north, south, east, and west. There was so much to do, they had little time for rest. They flew to America, Europe, Antarctica, and down under. They went to Africa and Asia, try, trying not to blunder. There was not a place on earth where the storks did not fly. Everywhere in the world, the storks filled up the sky. They had to move real fast, for there was no time to be slow. It began to get very confusing on where they had to go. Some storks took left, and they should have turned right. Some storks flew all day when they should have flown all night. Other storks flew east, and, then should, and they should have gone west. Everything went wrong, even though they were trying their best. Then it began to happen in a flash. By one, one, this, one by one, they started to crash. The storks smashed right into each other. It kept happening one after the other. They crashed on the clouds up in the air. There were stork feathers everywhere. They landed in the water, the trees, and the dirt. It was a miracle that none of the storks were hurt. Then they quickly went to see if the babies were okay. The babies were fine, but the storks did not know what to say. When the storks crashed and tumbled, all the baby animals were jumbled. The stars could not believe their eyes. These babies were quite a surprise. They looked very lovable and sweet, but they were very different from their head to their feet. There were no more zebras or elephants, but they found lots and lots of elephants. They looked for giraffes and buffaloes, but the storks only found giraffaloes. These jumble babies became a new breed, so they called them jumbies, and the storks all agreed. There were no lions, tigers, or bears anywhere, but they found thousands of these jumbies on the ground. Even bugs, birds, and fish were not the same. The storks had to take all of the blame. Now, since all the babies were a jumbled mix, the storks had a problem that was not easy to fix. It was not clear where the little ones were supposed to go. These babies were jumbled up, so the storks did not know. They took the jumbies to a place where palm trees and white sand, and the storks called this beautiful island Jumbie Land. But jumbies still needed homes where they could be cared for. So the storks flew everywhere on earth and knocked on every door. The storks found homes with loving girls and boys. The jumbies had given them many new joys. But there are more jumbies that still happen every day. Jumbies need you to take care of them in every way. The storks continue to find homes for them like yours and mine. The jumbies need your love because they are one of a kind. Okay, so this was a really, really cute story. That was actually my first time reading it. I do apologize for um, slurring my words a little bit. But that was a really cool little story. Um, and this is what is a jumbie. It is a, a animal that has been spliced with another animal. So this was a blabbit, which is a bluebird, which is the blue coloring, and a rabbit, which is the ears and the fluffy tail. And this is a dingbat, which is a dingo and part bat. And they just have all these sorts of different ones of these that they're really, really cool. I really like them. There's a picture of all of them. Y'all can pause that and take a look at them. As you can see, they have all sorts of different designs and colors and 
types of animals. I love, I love these so much. And I think y'all need to go check them out. If you'd like to check them out, you can check them out at um, jumbieland.com, www.jumbieland.com and check them out. Um, if you want to see more animal reviews, more stuffed animal reviews, you know, little beanbag guys, give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my YouTube page, visit me at mysteriousramblings.com and be sure to check out Jumbies. The story's really messed up this time. The original jumbled babies. And until next time, peace.